It is the last trading week of 2023, and guess what? We're on the up, as we have been, certainly on the S&P for the last eight weeks in a row. Uh, a lot of money coming back into the market, and as you can see, we're up anywhere from a quarter to four-tenths of a percent across the Dow, the S&P, and the Nasdaq. Talking of numbers, uh, the national average for a gallon of regular gas now stands at $3.12. That's down from just a month ago, but still up slightly from this time last year, two cents. Gas Buddies' Patrick DeHaan joins us now. And Patrick, the big question that people always ask, what the gas prices look like heading into 2024? Well, Ash, as we saw last year, we tend to see gas prices bottom out during a period between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we stopped just short mm. of falling below $3. Again, for the second straight year, we got really close. We are inching up. I think 2024 is going to continue the trend that we saw this year. Of course, the difference between last year and 2023 this year has been a, a national average that's been about 50 cents a gallon lower than it was last year. Now, it's not going to be that good, Ash, in 2024. We're not going to see the national average next year drop below $3, but we may not be done with cheap gas yet. And I do expect that next year, Americans aren't going to spend quite as much at the pump as they did this year. I don't have exact numbers just yet. We're cr crunching those final mm. numbers. But uh, again, as we continue to put COVID and Russia's war to the rear view, it does look like it will get yeah. better next year with lower prices. But there are always the unknowns out there when it comes to gas prices, right, Patrick? You've got unrest in the Middle East, what OPEC is trying to do, uh, you know, demand is demand there. I mean, there are so many different factors. I would imagine it's very hard to get a real, you know, uh, yeah. a sense of where prices are heading because they can change in a moment. Well, that's right, Ash. Get your dart boards out. That's a little bit of what it's like with all the <laughs> geopolitical factors that you've mentioned, right? It is very difficult. Uh, the Red Sea is going to remain a, a wild card. And even the Federal Reserve yeah. hinting at interest rate cuts in, in the year ahead is going to be something that makes it a little bit more difficult. But all in all, again, keep in mind the U.S. producing record amounts of crude oil right now compared to where we were just a few years ago. That's going to help us ride the tide into any of those issues and, and potentially offset any of those issues, keeping prices lower in 2024. Very good. I want to ask you quickly, Patrick, about diesel prices. You know, the big 18-wheelers, they need to fill up with this stuff. Uh, it's right around just $4, $4.01 a gallon. Uh, where are those prices going, do you think? Well, Ash, I think that's a bigger question for Mother Nature. So far, it's been a warmer than expected mm. winter. That's helped the national average for the price of diesel fall to 68 cents below where it was a year ago. That's mm. going to be the good news for the economy, Ash, is diesel prices are likely to be vastly lower in 2024. That's thanks to refining enhancements and an increase in refining capacity globally that should help continue to lead to lower diesel prices in the year ahead. Well... I'm not going to hold you to it, but that would be good, wouldn't it not? Patrick DeHaan, as always, Patrick, thank you very Thanks, much. Ash. Appreciate your insight. Appreciate it. Thank you.